Hi guys, welcome back to Vegwit channel. Uh, so in this video, we will be dealing with the microbiology of a bacteria that is the Moraxella. So Moraxella is a genus of gram-negative bacteria in the family Moraxellaceae. So it was actually named after a scientist Morax. So he has given many contribution in the bacteriological field. So for his honor, they have given the name Moraxella. So the taxonomy of the bacteria, they actually belong to the phylum proteobacteria. So Moraxella is a genus of gram-negative bacteria and it was actually named after Victor Morax and they are actually the dicobacilli and the main principal agent in the Moraxella genus is the Moraxella box. The organisms are common cells of the mucosal surfaces and sometimes give rise to opportunistic infection. That is, whenever they get more chance to produce infection, they will be producing the infection. Otherwise, they will be acting as a commensal organism in the mucosal surface. They actually uh, live in the conjunctiva, the nasopharyngeal region, and they will be producing asymptomatic reactions that can up, prolong up to two years. So, transmission is by direct contact or sometimes telasia rhodesi, that is the eye worm, which can also transmit the infection. Morphology, they are the gram-negative, non-motile, short, plump rods, that's the occurring pair, that is diplobacillae. Moving to the cultural characteristics, they are strict anaerobes, sorry, strict aerobes, and they are oxidative. Most of the species will not grow on the Macaunky agar. This is a very important point. They are, they are not resistant uh, to the bile. And colonial growth will auto agglutinate when suspended in saline. This is also a very important point. And Moraxella equi and Moraxella lacunata are non hemolytic They don't have a hemolysing property. So moving to the biochemical properties. They cannot utilize carbohydrate and they are mainly proteolytic. Catalase and oxidase positive, indol negative. It causes pitting of serum slope slowly. So that is used in the diagnosis. So pathogenesis, predisposing environmental factors include irritation of eye, the UV light, dust and flies. So this is the predisposing factor. And pathogenicity of Moraxella bovis is due to the production of type 4 pili. That is which is helping in the attachment to the animal tissue by for the bacteria. Cytotoxin MBXA is hemol hemolytic cytotoxic and leukotoxic belongs to the RTX toxin family and they are actually the main toxin or the pathogen pathogenic antigen yeah so they are filamentous hemagglutinin like protein they also play a role in the infectivity fibrinolysin protease and phospholipase play a role in tissue distribution so the disease conditions produced by moraxella that is mainly moraxella bovis will be producing pink eye or new forest disease or infectious bovine keratoconjunctivitis in cattle. Sometimes in holes, Moraxella equi produce conjunctivitis. Also, the humans will get infection with Moraxella lacunata that will be producing conjunctivitis. So the symptoms in bovines, that is the pink eye, the eye will turn into a pink color due to lacrimation, bifurospasm and conjunctivitis. Later, ulcer develops on the cornea, corneal opacity and edema surrounds the ulcer. Sometimes this can lead to the retinopathy. The granulation tissue and the ulcer itself will regress, leaving a white corneal scar. The diagnosis is actually by the swabs of lacrimal secretion, uh, isolation of the blood agar, low flow syrup, and the uh, antigen testings and the uh, antibody testings. So treatment is actually by the cloxazilins or you can use tetracycline, etc. And control flies. Thank you guys.